Hey guys, welcome back. This is the episode that everyone's been waiting for. This is the conclusion of my potato experiment. Back on August 29th, I went ahead and I started with the original two of these potato boxes, planted potatoes, and we're making potato grow towers. So, let's get right into it, get these taken apart, and see what kind of results we got. Once these plants start dying off, they're no longer putting nutrients to the potatoes, so it's no, no use and no benefit to keeping them in the ground any longer. So, we're going to go ahead and dig these up. Now if you've watched these series, you remember that I started this potato box a little bit later for my mother who kind of liked the idea and wanted some potatoes for herself. So we're going to go ahead and get hers opened up first and then we'll get to the big boxes. My first potato is already sticking out, it's right there. Now remember, when you go and dig this, you want to be really careful not to be going stabbing in there because you'll probably be cutting potatoes. Be careful, take it easy, take your time, sort it through. First potato guys, number one. All right, there's the result from the small grow box that got started late. Let's get into these bigger grow boxes and see what we got in there. Okay, this wasn't a stunning amount, but it was still a pretty good harvest, especially for having these potatoes planted so late. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get these bigger boxes underway. Initially here, you can see quite the massive root structure in the lower portions of this box. Let's get underway. Now that we've gone and got all the potatoes where we'd expect them to be down in the bottom of this box, we're going to go ahead and check the dirt in the top of the box. If the article that I uh, read was correct, then this should have potatoes in it as well. Well, I guess there's a potato, technically. Let's see if we have any real potatoes. I'm not seeing any more potatoes in this soil up top. I'm also not seeing any more roots sticking off of the shoots of these potatoes either. That was a little disappointing for all the work that went into that box. We got one more box to tear apart and go through. Let's see if there's anything better in that one. Alright, we had the grow box off of the last grow tower here. Now we're going to go ahead, dig into this, and see if we have any better results than the last two boxes. To make this a little bit easier, we're going to go ahead and push this mountain of dirt over and then start sorting through it. Well, I see potatoes.
All right, now it's time to sort through this big old cube. Let's see what we got here. Any potatoes? I think it's safe to say there's no more potatoes in this dirt. Let me see what I got as a total. All right, this is a little bit disappointing, but in all reality, I did have a pretty good potato harvest from what few pieces of potato that I put in the ground. So this is my total. It's probably, I'm gonna say about 15 pounds worth of potatoes in this, in this bucket here. So according to the article that I had read, after the initial plant started to grow, as you added soil, the plant was supposed to be sending out more roots, making more tubers. As you can see, there are no roots out these stalks all the way up that were buried under the ground. Nothing after the initial four to six inches that I had buried down the initial potato cuttings, which I have one right here, you can see. So in my head, I have a question if I didn't get a determinate variety of potatoes. A, a determinate variety only puts out a certain number, doesn't send out more roots, and certainly if it doesn't have more roots up on the higher portions of the stalk, there's not going to be more tubers, which means no potatoes. So that's something I'm going to have to look at for next year's experiment. I do believe, though, that I'm going to do this experiment again next year. I will do my research a little bit better into the variety of potatoes that I'm using, as well as uh, the soil. I'm going to be uh, composting leaves and clippings this year, which I already have up and uh, ready to go, which, you know what? You know what? I just had another idea for another episode. I'm going to bring you guys along on another episode on how to make some nice homemade compost the easy, free, or cheap way. I already have these boxes that aren't going to be used now until next year, so might as well go ahead and put them to use. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you soon on my next episode. Until then, bye-bye.